So I'm Edward Dixon, I'm a data scientist at Intel and I'm a data scientist mainly because I was a software engineer and I realised one day that I, I couldn't really write all of the code to make the machine do the things that I wanted to do. And since I couldn't explain how to do all these things, I realised instead I was going to have to train it. And once I did that completely, changed the set of problems that I could address with a machine. And once upon a time, my boss said, Ed, I want you to do anomaly detection basically on, on network traffic. And they gave us data, they gave us lots of, of logs from a web proxy system. And we started looking for really good algorithms to work with anomaly detection. And we found lots of papers, right? Lots and lots of researchers who had their effectively pet methods. We spent a lot of months implementing painfully one after another and measuring them. Um, but we were getting killed and killed and killed by false positive rates, right? It was, it was excruciating. And then one day someone said, Ed, you know, that H2O, you know, I think they've actually got an anomaly detection model in there of some kind. Maybe you should look at that. I'm willing at this point to try anything, right? It only took a few hours. And it, it's beautiful because what, the way you train is you give it lots of data and it gets familiar with that data. And if you give it data that comes from a different distribution, it suddenly gets bad at repeating, re reconstructing the data. It's effectively telling you, this is not like the stuff that you gave me before. I don't know what it is, but it's a different thing. And this thing is not the same. And in a few hours, we had a completely different false positive race. And I had a happier boss, and my boss had a much less stressed team.